Functions are a really important mathematical object because um, if you've got another color there, you've written this definition down, they connect really, really important ideas together. Um, and there are three which I can see in here, okay, or two and a half. The first is this idea of a mathematical rule, okay? So this is, you've actually seen these kinds of things before. Um, we would substitute the word relationship in here, where you've got two quantities, two values, and they are tied to each other in some particular way. I'm going to give you some examples of this in a minute. So there's a relationship between them. Just like, for instance, there's a relationship between your age and your height, or your height and your weight. It's not a simple relationship. It's not like everyone who is exactly this has exactly that, but they are clearly connected in some way, right? So I guess you could say connection is another word. It's a connection or a relationship, but rule is the word that you will see most often. That's the first idea. The other idea connects to these two words, okay? Inputs and outputs. So we have a particular word that you already know that covers both of these. They're values that can change. When you've got values that can change, we call them, it starts with a V, does anyone know? We call them variables. Because as the word suggests, they vary, right? So variables as opposed to constants, they change. The idea here is you change the input, you'll change the output. They both vary, okay? The input we call the independent variable. And the output is what sort of depends on the input. Like you change this and this will become something else. So we call the output the dependent variable. So exploring independent and dependent variables are kind of, they're really important because we're very interested in numbers as they change. Okay? Now, this is an idea that you've met before, we've just not put formal language or notation underneath it. So let me give you some quick examples. Okay? Let's think about something like this. Uh, let's, let's, I'll give you a handful. Okay? Y equals, say, 2x minus 3. This is a function. Okay? Let's see why it is. It's a, it's a mathematical rule. Well, you put something in, you'll get something out based on each input and each output, right? So I could, we'll do this for the first one, we won't do it for any others. I could draw a really small table of values down here, like so. Um, we'll do it just for the sake of illustration, but we won't do it with any of the others. If I put in an x, that's the input, that's the independent variable. Let's pick some values like say 0, 1, and 2. For each of those inputs, I will get an output, right? Uh, when x is 0, what's y? Negative 3. When x is 1, I'm going to get negative 1. And it looks like this one will be 1. Okay. So you can see each input gives you one output. No dramas. Okay. This are the inputs. These are outputs. We know lots of other functions as well. Let me give you another example. y equals x squared. We won't do the table of values for this one because um, you get what's going on. And I think you can think of the numbers would be quite easily. If we do the same inputs, 0, 1, and 2, then what outputs will I get for 0, 1, and 2? 0 squared is? 0. 1 squared is? 1. And 2 squared is? 4. So 0, 1, and 2 produce 0, 1, and 4. That's all fine. Okay. Now let me give you an example, and I'll put this in a different color. If you have a different color, that'd be great. Let me give you an example of something that is not a function. Okay, so this is not a function. Okay, noting that I always pretty much use x's as inputs and y's as outputs, let's think about this instead. Hmm. Now, this is still a mathematical rule. There is still a connection, a relationship between x and y here, just like there was in our previous two examples. Okay. But this isn't a function for a very particular reason. Give me an input. Give me an input. Three. Three. Three will do. Okay. So if I put in three for x, that's my input. Okay. Uh, I'll do it over here. Uh, whoops. X equals three. What happens when we try and find out what the output is? Well, I'll get y squared equals three. Do you see that? Well, now hold on a second. When I say, what is the output, there isn't just one output, is there? There are actually two. There are two solutions. What are they? 
plus or minus root 3. Very good, we're switched on. Okay. So even though you get an output out of the inputs, you actually get several outputs, and that's not a function. I only want one. Okay. So that's why these guys are okay, but this guy's a dud. And there's actually quite a few things that you already know that are also duds. Here's another, oh, I'll stay in orange. Here's another example of a not function. What's this shape? Do you recognize it yet? This is a circle. Can you see why it's not a function? Because if I put in an x value, uh, let's try x equals 0. Right? Then what happens when I try and find out the output? Well, I'll get 0 plus y squared, which is just y squared, equals 1. And again, I'm like, oh, I have lots of outputs. I've got two. That's not very useful. Okay. 